What's up, Dallas Cowboys fans? Andy Carr Tim here with your Dallas Cowboys Daily Blist for today. A uh, dreary, somewhat overcast Tuesday, May 17th, here on the Fish Report YouTube channel. Wanted to talk a little bit about something that came out yesterday uh, on Monday as Pro Football Talk uh, came out and talked about Sean Payton and how he has accepted a um, position with Fox Sports as a studio analyst. Um, and of course, when he left the Saints back in February, seems like all Cowboys fans did was say, oh, here he comes. Peyton's coming to coach the Cowboys. And of course, that wasn't going to happen. Uh, Mike McCarthy, still with three years left on his deal. Um, Peyton, still with three years left on his deal with the Saints. So there's no way that was going to happen. Jerry Jones uh, stood by his coach, stood by his decision, his hire, uh, Mike McCarthy, and remained committed. And interestingly, though, Peyton at the time came out and told us over at CowboysSI.com, quote, my focus has shifted to working in media. Right now, I want to try something different, end quote. So some interesting news there is, Peyton revealed, and I'm sure that he thought he had a place in a uh, dealing place, maybe, or he had, you know, workings of a dealing place before he even left the Saints to go into the media. I don't know. But that certainly seems likely before, you know, unless he just absolutely hated coaching and for whatever reason, you know, just like had to get out whether you wanted to go into media or not or broadcasting or whatever, it seems like you would already have at least feelers out there with the uh, broadcast, uh, with the networks. So, you know, since then, though, Peyton's been reported to uh, been in talks with Amazon because, of course, Amazon is taking over some NFL broadcasts uh, for 2022. Uh, he's been linked to the Carolina Panthers coaching position. Poor Matt Rule out there, by the way. Don't know that he's getting a fair shake yet. Certainly he deserves better than what he's he's getting out there in Carolina. But uh, as pro football talk came out yesterday, Peyton is going to Fox, a studio analyst position. And uh, he apparently will be taking Jimmy Johnson's place on the days that Johnson is off. For those Fox broadcasts, if you guys watch the network, watch any of the Fox studio broadcasts, NFL Fox Sunday, I think is what it's called. You'll see Jimmy's really very rarely there. And when he is, he's on camera from his yacht or whatever, from his home in Miami. Very rarely makes the trip to me in studio. Kind of really the ideal gig if that's what you want to do. And if you're Jimmy and you really hate traveling at this point in your career. But Peyton apparently will be taking over those days that uh, Jimmy is gone. And for whatever you feel, however you feel about Sean Payton, um, I think he's going to be great. I think he's going to have the the insight. You know, everybody loves Romo because of the insight that he gives, the real, I mean, a different perspective, certainly, than most of us have. And I think Peyton's probably got much of the same within him to bring that out and to, to discuss those things. So I think he's going to be great. We don't know if this is a one-year deal, two-year deal, three-year deal. Because, again, don't forget, he's under contract with the uh, Saints through 2023. So he does this for one season. He's still got a, what, another year left on his contract. Um, so... You know, is he does just this tie over for him until he gets another coaching job? It's going to be a one year and done, and then he's going to coach, and whatever team he wants to coach will have to work with the Saints as far as compensation. I mean, we don't know. It's all speculation. Of course, Cowboys fans are, uh, well, hey, yeah, next stop Dallas, right? Because if uh, Peyton can hold out in broadcasting or whatever through 2023, then he's free. He's a free agent coach. He can go wherever he wants, and no team will have to pay compensation to the Saints. I'm just on record as saying I love Sean Payton. 
I think Sean Payton's a tremendous dude. I think he's a tremendous individual. He's certainly got a good track record in the league. But I'm also on record as saying he is the same exact head coach as Mike McCarthy. I don't care what you think about he's better with the players. He runs a better offense. Uh, He's smarter. He's got a better football. You know what? All those things might very well be true. But in the football business, results. That's all that matters is results. Go look at Mike McCarthy's coaching record. Go look at Sean Payton's coaching record. They have just about the same exact amount of time in the league. And, dude, record's the same. Uh, McCarthy had Rodgers for all those years, won Super Bowl. Peyton had Breeze for all those years, won Super Bowl. So, you know, not saying that he's not a better coach. I'm just saying the results are exactly the same, and I'm not sure that you would see anything different here in Dallas. But anyway, that's not what the video is about. Really, it's about what happens after this season. Is Peyton going to continue to broadcast? Will he coach? After this, we don't know. But at least we do know what he will be doing next season and what he won't be doing next season. Of course, he will be broadcasting. He will not be coaching in Carolina or Dallas or anywhere else. So that's what I've got for you today here on the Fish Report YouTube channel. Appreciate you guys popping on. I love all the great comments you guys are leaving us. Um, Say hello to me here in the comments section under the YouTube video. Find me on Twitter at IndyCar Tim. The show is at Cowboys Daily Pod. And make sure you're checking us out over at CowboysSI.com for all the great Dallas Cowboys content daily. Um, and until we'll do it, we do it again tomorrow probably. We'll have some more news for you, maybe some draft stuff. But until we do, we'll see you.